The following is a News Channel 5 special presentation. Tonight, News Channel 5 investigates. All I'm asking you is, where's the money? Critics call it highway robbery, but the ones taking the cash... Do you have any large amounts of money, Tiani, mucho, mucho, the narrow and trucky trailer? ...are the cops. Why should you be able to take the money if you can't prove that they were involved in criminal activity. Because the state of Tennessee lets me do that. This is really highway shakedowns coming to the U.S. What happens to your rights? Can I search your truck and trailer? I said you have no reason to search my car. When the police have a profit motive. It looks like that they're not concerned about stopping the drugs, that they just want the money. That's what it looks like. A four-year News Channel 5 investigation. Is it okay that they... It's okay, it's okay. ...helps fuel a national debate. I told them that I was trying to buy a vehicle. So why would you leave that out? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I expect a better answer from a police officer than a four-year-old who just spilled grape juice on the couch. And now, big changes are on the way. We will not be using civil forfeiture to take anything from you. Car, cash, nothing. From your news and information leader, this is a News Channel 5 Investigate Special, Policing for Profit. Hello everyone, I'm Rory Johnson. And I'm Vicki Yates. For almost four years now, our News Channel 5 Investigates team has shined the light on civil forfeiture laws that let police take people's money without charging them with a crime. That investigation included the review of dozens of hours of police video, surveillance from the ground and the air, and it took our team across the country. That News Channel 5 investigation began in 2011, sparking a conversation about the rights of the innocent. In 2012, lawmakers began that debate even as News Channel 5 continued to uncover new abuses. In 2013, lawmakers passed a compromise that was supposed to put safeguards in place, but let the practice continue. And in 2014, our investigation uncovered new questions about the practice. This time, a leading DA broke ranks with those who fought to keep it legal. We'll have more on that later, but first, News Channel 5 Chief Investigative Reporter Phil Williams takes a look back at how it all began. What you're about to see is how police agencies across Tennessee make money. Pop the trunk for me. You gotta be observant. Not every officer can do interdiction. On this day, News Channel 5 investigates went on patrol with officers from the Dixon Interdiction and Criminal Enforcement Unit, DICE for short, seeing how traffic violations Can I search your truck and trailer? can lead to searches, searches that they hope will yield drugs or like in this police video. I take it it's not yours, right? No. A stash of more than $200,000 of suspected drug money, money that DICE got to keep. What we're doing, we're taking advantage of how the laws are to use the money to be able to put back to fight the drugs. Use the money from the bad guys to f catch bad guys is what we're trying to do. Yeah, that one right there is the 23rd vehicle. And DICE isn't alone. There's also the 23rd Judicial District Drug Task Force and two others. Altogether, four different departments patrol the 50-mile stretch of interstate west of Nashville looking for money to fund their agencies. So everything's paid through seizures and fines. Dixon Police Chief Rick Chandler serves on the boards that oversee both DICE and the 23rd. So if these officers out on the interstate don't come up with cash, then they might lose their jobs. Well, it's a possibility, yes. In fact, I-40 has become a major profit center for Tennessee law enforcement with officers stopping and often searching out-of-state vehicles. This is a good example of what can happen. These two DICE units had had this tractor-trailer truck stopped while they were searching it. Another DICE unit stopped that tractor-trailer truck, and then a third DICE unit stopped another vehicle. Is it okay that they... It's okay, it's okay. It's because of a state law that lets them seize money like the cash shown in these police photos simply based on the suspicion that it's linked to drug trafficking. If an owner does not take legal action to get the money back, the agency gets to keep it all. In order for us to make that seizure, we need to show that there is probable cause connecting that money to the drug trade. Franklin DA Kilm Helper says that's just what happened here. When officers from her 21st Judicial District Drug Task Force stopped this tractor trailer, a search uncovered large blocks containing almost $200,000 cash. What's wrong with having large amount of cash? Cash that the truck's owner, Garin Petrosian, claimed to know nothing about. In general, it was seized because based on our uh, evidence and probable cause, it's illegal drug proceeds. 
Is that money in those black bundles we brought out here? Is it your money? And Hilfer says the fact that no one ever claimed the money shows they were right. Still, officers released the driver without filing a single charge. They even cut a deal to let Petrosian come to Tennessee to get his big rig back. If I am a criminal, if they allege me to be a criminal, why would they settle? They do not just let criminals go. Why should you be able to take the money, though, if you can't prove that they were involved in criminal activity? Because the state of Tennessee lets me do that. But what makes the traffic stop especially unusual is the location. It occurred here in Smith County near the Carthage exit. That's almost an hour outside her district. Helpers officers patrol that area under a deal where they give a third of any cash they seize to the agency that owns that stretch of road. Why should that not be perceived as renting turf? I mean, this is not your jurisdiction. I don't think it is renting turf. It's a way to make money, though, for your your task force? Honestly? Well, you know, when you say make money, I guess it is a way for us to continue to fund our operations. And this is really highway shakedowns coming to the U.S. Scott Bullock is an attorney for the conservative-leaning Institute for Justice, which has criticized civil forfeiture laws that open the door for what it calls policing for profit. It shows that the police uh, are really focusing not on trying to get the drugs, not on trying to enforce the drug laws and stop that flow uh, for, uh, throughout the country. They're focused on getting the money. Out here on the interstate, interdiction officers have a choice. Conventional wisdom is that the drugs come in from Mexico on the eastbound side, but the money goes back on the west. Well, we actually work both lanes, most east and west. Yet we spotted those interdiction teams staging time and time again with their backs to the drug side. In the case of the 23rd, a review of daily activity sheets discovered that when officers noted the location of their traffic stops, there were 10 times as many stops on the money side. We want both sides of the road worked. It looks like that they're not concerned about stopping the drugs, that they just want the money. That's what it looks like. Is that the case? And that shouldn't be the case, but that's what it looks like. It ain't in the seat. And it can lead to turf wars. After Dice got this million dollar seizure in 2010, a Dice officer suddenly found himself being blocked by a unit from the 23rd. Within minutes, five units from the 23rd are lined up in a show of force. Then there's this 2008 video where a unit from the 23rd cuts in front of a Dice officer on a stop, prompting this heated exchange. Leave me the f alone. Let me tell you something, punk. You ever come up me and try to wreck me out again, it'll be your last time, you understand? You've got two agencies fighting to stop the same cars. Competition can be a good thing as long as you don't violate any person's rights. But they're competing for the money that they can take off of drivers. Well, they're competing to do their job. Uh, can a uh, mucho, mucho dinero in su truck? No. It's a job that critics say has become more about profit than policing. Law enforcement is supposed to be about getting the bad guys. It's not a, supposed to be about making money. When we come back. I just feel like he was harassing me. A California couple's experience on Tennessee's highways raises new policing for profit questions. In order for us to make that seizure, we need to show that there is probable cause connecting that money to the drug trade. In order for us to make that seizure, we need to show that there is probable cause connecting that money to the drug trade. Why should you be able to take the money, though, if you can't prove that they were involved in criminal activity? Because the state of Tennessee lets me do that. Why should you be able to take the money, though, if you can't prove that they were involved in criminal activity? Because the state of Tennessee lets me do that. Why should you be able to take the money, though, if you can't prove that they were involved in criminal activity? Because the state of Tennessee lets me do that.